friends, my name is Amanda. My name is Emily, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Today's recipe of the week is wild caught Key West pink shrimp, local. Local, well, I guess that is local. Well, you said Key local. West. Anyways, <laughs> that we have already peeled and deveined, and we are going to take this shrimp. We are going to bread it in coconut flakes and panko, and we are going to fry it. So basically, so making homemade coconut. Homemade, wild caught, coconut, coconut shrimp. shrimp with a very simple and easy, spicy and sweet, tangy red pepper dipping sauce. Look at my shrimps. Look, look at my shrimps. Those are some really nice sized shrimps, nice shrimps for perspective. Yeah, we kept the tail on. It's good for serving. Right, so if you're doing this yourself and you're going to be peeling them and eating them, keep the tail on because it's good to dip and serve yourself and eat it that way, especially because it's going to be fried. Um, first thing, let's turn on the fryer. Turn on the fryer. Turn on the fryer. Dink. We are setting the fryer right at 350? 350. 350, that is where we're gonna set our fryer. If you don't have a fryer, you don't have to deep fry this recipe, you can always do it in a pan with some oil. Oil, generous oil. oil. But Right, but we're choosing to deep fry because everything tastes better deep fried. 100%. And we're honestly going for flavor over health today. Oh yeah, that oh, will, yeah. yeah. All right, okay. come back to my shrimp, come back to my shrimp. All right, we need to season these shrimps. Time to season them. So I'm gonna season them very simply, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That's how I'm going to season them, and then we're going to focus on breading. Okay, let's do some crackles of salt. Crackles of salt. Crackles of salt. I'm just going to like... Sprinkle it on. Sprinkle some garlic powder, because who doesn't like garlic? All right. Okay. Let's do both sides. Do both sides. We're going to do both sides of the shrimp, guys. Both sides, both sides. Flip my shrimpies over. Something that I do want to do is when the shrimps are running around... The bridges and the keys, I actually do want to go we need and to go, shrimping. go shrimping and collect our own shrimp. It's always, it's very important to get both sides, right? Of course. You want that flavor. You can't neglect one. You want the flavor well-rounded in every single bite. Those look so delicious. There, just like that. All my shrimps are... Seasoned, salt, ready pepper, to go, salt, pepper, garlic powder. garlic powder, and now we are going to switch over to the breading process. Honestly, you could just fry these up like this and put it in like a pasta. Ooh, that's a good recipe. We should do a pasta Or oh, what about like a shrimp Alfredo recipe? We gotta learn to make Alfredo stuff. Guys, if you want to see any shrimp, shrimp is my personal favorite I think food we in actually, the whole world. So we prefer shrimp more than fish. That might be kind of surprising, but shrimp is my favorite seafood I like in the whole fish, world. yes. I love, wow, <laughs> my favorite seafood in the whole world. It is. I like fish, um, but not as much as you might think. It's, I don't eat it every night or anything like that. But shrimp, on the other hand, I could probably have that multiple times a week. Anyways, if there's any kind of shrimp recipe you want to see or any kind of seafood recipe, just leave it in the comments. Let us know. Let us know. We'll give it a try. <laughs> we are going to bread the fish in three steps. We are going to start with flour. Flour. Eggs. Eggs. And this is our... We are using unsweetened coconut flakes with panko breadcrumbs mixed in there. You can see them in there. The coconut flakes, it's basically you double the coconut and half the panko. Exactly. And you can do sweetened coconut flakes, but I just feel like that really overdoes it. And the sauce we're using does have a sweetness to it. So we're going to use unsweetened coconut flakes. And as per usual, the specifics of this recipe are in the description. Of course. Yes. I want to, yeah. Descriptions. Descriptions. Specifics, I'm always at it. Description box. <laughs> so when I take these shrimps, because it's not fish, I'm just gonna actually like do it one at a time. Really get it. Nice really get them coated. nice and coated. Just kind of really focus on it. I'm not just gonna throw it in a bag and sh throw it in a bag and shake it like we have done in our previous recipes when we're breading and frying fish. I'm gonna every layer needs to be done completely perfect, perfectly. And then now this one, the coconut. I'm going to really want to press it on there. Make sure it's really 
got that coconutty panko breading going. Make sure he's good to go. And the tail, like I said, leaving the tail on is really nice because I can just grab it. Let's say he's a little more. Looks okay. good. And then we're going to lay them down on just her like that. Perfect. So I'm going to do that seven more times with my shrimps. You can cook as much shrimp as you like, but we took out eight because these are big shrimps. While Amanda finishes getting our shrimps ready for the fryer, we got twin truth to tell you. Yeah. What is what is today's twin truth? What is today's? I forget. I forget too. <laughs> we had a really cool thing to tell you. Oh, the face ID. Oh, okay. Okay. Here's today's <laughs> twin truth. Today's twin truth is that the iPhone face ID cannot tell the difference between us. And I'm, I'm gonna prove this to you. Okay. Right. You're gonna have to believe us, but this is Amanda's phone. Wait, put my face in it. All right, Amanda's face. Oh, it already unlocked. It just unlocked, just unlocked. All right, she just unlocked it, swipe up. Okay, you guys saw that? Okay, now I don't let me see it. Okay, now my face. Unlocked, you see the unlock button? There we go. There we go, it worked. So Here, I guess, do it again. Wait, hold on. It's hold not on. working set up. There right. we go. Okay, it went. Unlock, see the top unlock button? Face ID. Face ID. So Cannot tell identical twins apart. We have our own fingerprints though. We do have our own fingerprints. Every twin has their own finger twi finger twins, fingerprints. But apparently we share a face ID, according to Apple. <laughs> yeah, before face ID was a thing, when it was fingerprints for iPhones, we couldn't use each other's fingerprints because our fingerprints apparently are not close enough. But our faces, are. It's time to make the sauce. Very simple sauce. We're gonna be using orange marmalade and apricot jam. These are equal parts. Apricot preserves. Apricot preserves. You probably use either. Yeah, that's a good point. And then on another note, if you can get gel. Wait, what about the last ingredient? Well, I, okay. And then we got sriracha <laughs> and red pepper flakes. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys something about this orange marmalade. This is kind of a personal preference thing. This has orange pieces in it. So that's kind of optional from a dipping perspective. If there's less pieces, it might stick on the shrimp better. I like it with but the But then it adds kind of texture. So you guys can kind of, it's basically orange marmalade, orange jelly, and apricot jam. And sriracha. And sriracha. Okay, so we're gonna do equal parts. I'm literally just gonna use a spoon and eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So it's equal parts orange jelly and apricot preserves. That looks about equal to me. Does it look equal to you, Amanda? A little more apricot. A little more there. apricot? How about now that? equal. Okay, time to add the spice. As far as the spice goes, I would kind of do it to taste. It's personal preference. Amanda likes doing, so let's say we do. Yeah, so I'll do she, she's, she likes a lot of spice. I like doing equal parts orange marmalade, apricot, sriracha, but that makes it spicy, like spi yeah. like a spicy sauce. Yeah. I think Emily likes to do equal parts, orange marmalade, apricot, and like a half, half of like the sriracha. Half, yeah. Like like just a dash of sriracha. I don't know. That's you personal get the idea. preference. We're gonna put some sriracha in here. Okay. And red pepper flakes. And same thing with the red pepper flakes, guys. We're just going to shake them in. All right, so what are we gonna name this sauce? Okay, we have a sriracha sauce with apricot jam, orange marmalade, and red pepper flakes. I feel like we should call it sweet and, sweet spicy, and spicy chili sauce. Chili sauce. Ooh, let's do that. I like. Wait, is there chili in it though? Yes, yeah, this sriracha is chili sauce. Oh. <laughs> so sweet and spicy chili sauce for coconut shrimp dipping. Ready to fry our coconut encrusted shrimp. Okay. We are going to stick these in the fryer for a total of two and a half minutes. These are large shrimps, so for us, two and a half minutes is going to be our perfect time. If you're using smaller shrimp, I would think two minutes should be plenty. And I'm only going to fry like four shrimps at a time. Kind of a small fryer, and when you put, if you put too much in your fryer, it can lower the temperature. And these are very delicate with the coconut flakes, so I'm just dropping them in slowly. I don't want them to stick to the bottom. I'm not rushing in, not plopping them in. Just nice and delicate. 
Mm. It already smells good. I wish you could smell our kitchen right now. It just smells like... Coconut shrimp? Coconut <laughs> shrimp, yeah. <laughs> Gonna grab Mr. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Nice golden brown crispiness. And we're putting them on a paper towel. So yeah, the paper towel is gonna absorb the oil as it drips off and keep your fish nice and crispy. The reason why I'm pulling these out with tongs is like I said, I just feel like with the coconut, it's very delicate. And I just don't wanna grab the whole basket and dump them, but you can do that. And this is just kind of a choice thing. Last, but certainly not least, we're going to squeeze some fresh lime onto these coconut shrimps. Look at how crispy they are. Delicious that is, they look. Wow, I am really excited. Let's give one of these a try. Go ahead, dip it. Give it a dunk. Good dunk. Nice. Get some. Wow, that looks so so yummy. Ready? Go for it. You hear that crunch? Mm. That crisp. This is definitely a fun one to do. I think it's very simple, very easy, and honestly, the sauce is a lot of fun. Look at the inside. Look at how crispy that is. I can crispy see the steam outside, coming off of it. Perfectly cooked inside. Wonderful, I'm so excited. Anyways, the details will be in the description box if you wanna see them. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you liked the recipe. If you use it, please let us know. Put your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to follow Gale Force Twins on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.